All right, our lesson 9.5 is numerical patterns. So I did write in the board, I am gonna attach the PDF with this exact lesson on it. Um, I pulled two problems from it, so you can practice um, some extra practice with the other problems before you go to the Google form to do your assignment for this lesson. So um, basically we're looking at number patterns, numerical patterns. So um, some of you will be able to look at these and not even have to really do any math. You can do mental math and you'll be able to see it. Some of you are going to have to work the problems out. So I'm going to show you how to do it working the problems out. If you don't need to do that, you absolutely do not have to do that. Um, it just kind of depends on how your brain works with this kind of thing. So we are starting with um, looking at the problem, and it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do with the numbers given. So it's giving you a chart of information, a chart of numbers, and you're filling in one bit of information here to figure out um, the pattern of number. So it says multiply the number of laps by blank to find the number of yards. So we're talking about swimmers here. So how many laps they have to do to equal a certain distance of swimming. So how do we do that? Well, you take your two smallest numbers, which are going to be the first set of numbers in your chart, and you're going to do the opposite of whatever you're working on with your math. So here it says multiply. So the opposite of multiply is divide. So you're dividing. You're taking your two numbers and you're going to be dividing those two numbers. So you have 200 divided by 4. Um, again, and that's really hard to see, so let me see if I have a different marker here that works better. Uh, yeah, that's better. Okay, so 4 into 200. I'm just going to go over that green because I want to make sure that you can go back and look at this as you're working on that PDF. Um, because some of you, you might have to rewatch this more than once to get the idea down. All right, so we have 4 into 200. So what I did was I just took the step you're doing. It tells you what kind of math you're doing. You're doing the opposite of it, which is divide. And then I highlighted the two numbers that you're actually dividing. So 4 goes into 200. We can definitely do mental math on that one. Um, or you can multiply it out. So 4 goes into 25 times. We're left with 0. We bring our 0 down. 4 into 0 goes 0. And 50 is your answer. So 50 is what you're putting on your line up top here. Okay. So multiply the number of laps by 50. So if we went through each of these and we multiplied 8 times 50, 8 times 50 is 400. 12 times 50 is 600. What you have to figure out is 16 times 50 to find the missing bit of information that you need here. So again, you can do this a couple of different ways. Some of you may be looking at this and say, oh, there's a pattern, because there is a pattern. Um, if you count by 200s, 200, 400, 600, you're going to know what that final answer is, and you can solve the problem like that. Um, again, I want to show you exactly how to do it step by step because you will be getting some of these as you go through the upper grades where the math is not um, able to be done in your head and you still need to know how to do it. So you're basically just multiplying 16 times and that 50, which you got from up here, um, to find your answer here. So you're multiplying out your zeros and... Your answer is 800, which you already knew if you did your pattern, but you also find that out by just multiplying whatever number is above your missing number here, multiply by 50, because you've already found that part of the answer. So it's a two-step 
problem to figuring out not only what you have to multiply by, but also finding that missing number wherever on the chart it happens to be. Okay, um, we're going to look now at the second um, bit of information here. So multiply the number of hours by blank to find the number of miles. So we're talking about cars. So the number of hours it took them to drive a certain number of miles. So distance here. Um, so again, it's telling us to multiply. The opposite of multiply is divide. So we're going to divide, and we're taking our smallest number set to do that. Um, we're taking the smallest number set because it's the easiest. You always use the smallest numbers. So that's the easiest to do. So 2 into 130. And again, a lot of you can do this in your head. Um, it's really up to you if you want to solve out every part of the problem. That's great extra practice. You don't have to, but you need to know how to do it for when you get into those upper math classes. So we're multiplying, I'm sorry, we're dividing 12, 2 into 13 just 6 times. We're left with 10. 2 into 10 is 5. That's a bad 5. I'm out of practice. I'm writing on the whiteboard all day, every day. And zero. So just a quick note, if you don't get a zero remainder, you did something wrong. You will not have remainders for these. So 65 is the number that you're multiplying by. So the number of hours by 65. So when we go through our chart, our missing block here is at the 8-hour mark. So 8 hours multiplied times 65 is what we're looking to do here. So I'm putting the 65 on top because I multiply better like that. Um, let me scooch us down a little bit so we can say, yeah. Okay. So 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 6 is 48 plus 4 is 52. And that is your final answer. So again, pattern. Some of you can probably do that in your heads. Um, you're counting by a certain number to get up to that point. Those of you who can't, you're just going to multiply it out. Um, and you're filling in that block. So again, two steps. You start with what you're told to do multiply, you're doing the opposite of that. So you're dividing your two smallest numbers, and that's how you get your first set of information. Once you have that number, you're multiplying it times whatever number is in the set of the missing number. All right, there's only going to be one um, set with a missing number, so it's going to be pretty easy to figure out what number you're multiplying by that number, that first number you find. All right, so first step is going to be to divide. Second step is going to be multiply. And that's how you fill in your numerical patterns chart. All right, so that's what you're going to do on your Google form. And um, still confused? Rewatch the video and practice the PDF, the lesson um, for. Uh, 9.5, the PDF is attached. These two are on the problem. There's a couple extra that you can practice before doing the Google form if this still is not really making sense. Rewatch the video, rewatch the link for the Khan Academy, um, and just do some practice first, and you'll definitely get it.